Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Ryan and this is Ryan Recommends. In this video we're going to take a look at a new cable modem I've been using. It's the Motorola MB8600 DOSIS 3.1 and claiming uh, 6 gigabyte max speed. So um, we're going to do a quick unboxing. I'll show you what comes in the box. We'll get some close-ups of the modem itself. And uh, I'm going to share with you how I've got it set up. We'll do some speed tests. And at the end, I'll let you know if Ryan recommends. Okay, I've got it out of the box now. And what's included here is a Cat5e Ethernet cable. You get the quick start guide. Just a little Motorola help card. And you do get a little wrench to tighten your cable on the back and some cable management straps. But one reason, uh, it's usually not the reason to select a new piece of equipment for your home, but is the look. I really liked the look of this. Um, it matched all of my other electronics that I have. And, um, you know, a lot of the other ones that I'll, my old one I'll show you here in a minute was white, and I hated that. So, close look up at the back here, if I can, let me, I have to pick up the camera, is you basically, you have the power on and off switch, where the AC adapter goes, which I still have plugged into the wall, so sorry I forgot to show that part. That's where you connect your actual cable to. And then one thing, what... I didn't find out until I got it got it home here and started using it is that there was a sticker so if you look at it on the website this sticker covers up those other ports so I'm not an expert on how you um, connect those there's a term for that um, but I just use the main port here but there is a way that I guess you can combine these to increase some speeds but um, for right now most homeowners are just going to want to use the one and that's going to be what I'm going to show you more of today. So that's what it looks like, guys. I'm going to grab my other one real quick and show you uh, the one I upgraded from. So you kind of have some perspective of where I was coming from and why I upgraded this. Okay, so the white one on the right is my old Motorola Surfboard SB6141. And it was a DOSIS 3.0. At the time when I purchased it several years ago, it was supposed to be, you know, future-proofed. But, um, as you can see in size, much smaller compared to the new Motorola one that I've got. And there you go, you can compare the backs. But, um, I'd gone through a quick story before I show you some speed tests and how I've got it set up. Is I went through and I upgraded all my cables from a Cat 5 to a Cat 6. And then I went from a Cat 6 and I recently just upgraded to Cat 8 which is supposed to be the new um, fastest cable. Um, and I saw some minor gains. I still had the cat, I still had this one when I went from cat six to cat eight. And I saw minor improvements. Not quite what you'd be hoping, considering you know, you're going through and changing out all the cables in your home. But as soon as I went to this is where I saw some huge gains in speeds. So I'm gonna hook this up back where it goes in the corner of my house. And I'll kind of show you how I got it set up, and then we'll do some speed tests. Okay, so this is where I've actually got it set up in my house. Um, I got it plugged back in. But you can see the indicator lights on there. The one thing about that other surfboard one is the lights were super bright. So even when it was dark and I turned everything off, it was almost like a, a night light. So for that, I do appreciate the change in design. And you can see how I've got it hooked up in the back. And like I said, that is a Cat8 cable going in there. And now all of that is from here runs up to my TP-Link router. And so I've got several cables coming out of the back along with the Wi-Fi. So that's my setup. And so now that you see how I've got it set up, Cat8 everywhere. This is 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi and 2.4 and um, connected to this new router here. So let's go downstairs. I'll run some speed tests and show you exactly what I'm getting. All right, so I'm back at my laptop, which is again is hardwired in with a Cat 
8 cable and I just googled speed tests and so we're gonna run a speed test a couple times and see what I get so you can see I'm above 900 megabytes on the test download which I can tell you before I upgraded I was at two or three hundred if I was lucky and now I'm just over 40 megabytes upload and I would tell you that before I was probably at four or five megabytes so that's huge gains for me so upgraded everything my router my cables thinking that that would help but really guys it's the modem so I'm gonna go back over here to the table and talk about a few more things and then give you my final impressions all right guys so one last little detail when you're picking out a new modem is get one that's 3.1 DOS is 3.1 and this one is 32 x8 without getting too technical the bigger those numbers are, it's the more lanes of traffic of information that can go back and forth simultaneously so that essentially your data doesn't get clogged up when you're sending and receiving a lot of information. So um, if you compare it to my old one, I can't remember the specs on it, but it almost is double what this old one was. So I would say guys, in conclusion, this is an awesome purchase. Uh, somebody that's on the internet all the time, I have multiple devices, I'm uploading videos, you name it. I would highly, highly recommend getting this one. I'm very pleased with the quality, performance, and um, boy, I wish I maybe would have upgraded a while ago. So I got this one off of Amazon. I'll leave that link below so you guys can quickly check it out. Appreciate everybody watching. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have any other products you want me to review, leave those in the comments below. And thanks for watching.